Hi, and welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, July 12th. I'm your host, Jason Seguini. I'm starting today up in Vancouver, where the Vancouver Whitecaps have announced their second designated player signing. It's Mustafa Jarju. He's a Gambian midfielder slash forward who's been playing over in the Belgian First Division. It will be very interesting to see. Obviously, Vancouver needs a spark as they get into the second half of the season. He will likely be paired up top with their other designated player, Eric Hasley. He can begin to play on July 15th. That's when the transfer window opens for MLS. Their first game after that is a friendly against Manchester City. So interesting debut for him uh, against a big team from over in England in the World Football Challenge. Tonight starts the U.S. Open Cup quarterfinal round. The New York Red Bulls headed out to Chicago to take on the fire. Hans Bakke left the big guns at home. He said he's going to play reserves in this match. His team looked tired over the weekend against D.C. United. So it's likely John Rooney gets the start in this game. Should be very interesting to see how he performs. Remember, Manchester United and his brother Wayne Rooney in the States now for the World Football Challenge. In the second matchup tonight, it's FC Dallas hosting Real Salt Lake. Salt Salt Lake hosted Dallas over the weekend, got a 2-0 victory. This time they're going to be playing without Alvaro Sabrio and Nick Raimondo. So Dallas, the, Charles Hyman has said, he's going to play his starters. If they're healthy, if they're ready to go, he's putting them out there. They look to be the favorites as Real Salt Lake has not won in Dallas in their existence. That game will be streamed on FCDallas.com. Third matchup tonight, the Richmond Kickers, the final minor league team left in the tournament taking on Sporting Kansas City. Sporting Kansas City, of course, one of the hottest teams in MLS with a 10-game unbeaten streak. Richmond is trying to do what only the Rochester Rhinos were able to do in 1999, and that is win the U.S. Open Cup while MLS was in existence. All the other winners have been from MLS. One final note today, I want to remind everyone the World Football Challenge begins tomorrow in New England. The Revolution will be hosting Manchester United our own Simon Borg and Christelle Valencia are up there today to get the stories from both camps. So check out MLSsoccer.com all day for those updates. If you missed Extra Time Radio yesterday, great show. We had Christine Lilly, the legend of the U.S. women's national team, on to talk about that huge match they had against Brazil and what comes next for the women's national team in the World Cup. We also had Alan Hopkins on to talk about the All-Star Team selections. Plenty of debate going on there, so check that out. You can get it on iTunes or Buzzsprout, and we'll be back on The Daily tomorrow.